Good morning, everybody. I am Anusha, uh, working as assistant professor in computer science and engineering department in the College uh, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. In my videos, I am discussing about the subject programming with objects based on Java. In the pre in today's video, we will be discussing about how to place contents of a file into a grid layout. Then, second program is to uh, place the contents of the file onto a hash table and search the hash table for uh, for the data and third program is to place the contents of a table in a database to a hash table and again search them. So these are the three programs which we are going to discuss today. So in the first uh, uh, first program we, are, we have a file. From that file we will be uh, storing the data into grid layout. So we are given a table named as table.txt which is stored in a text file. The first line in the file is the header and the remaining lines corresponds to the rows in the table. The elements are separated by commas and we have to write a Java program to write to display the table using the grid labels in grid layout. So this is what we have. We have an a input file which is a text file named emp.txt and in that this first line is the header which form which gives employee name, employee id and employee phone number and the second row onwards are the data stored in it. We have each employee name corresponding his, uh, his corresponding id and phone number stored. So this column forms the employee name, the second column forms the employee id and the third column forms the employee phone number. So let's say uh, we have now we, we have to place this whole uh, text file. This text file has to be placed into this grid layout. So this is what our work is. Our program is going to do. So first of all, we have to import all the files which are, is needed. So we import the grid layout from the AWT package, the file input stream uh, class from the IO package, uh, scanner class the JFrame and the JLabel which we are using in our program. And this is our um, uh, driver program wherein we are creating an object of the code program and we are invoking it. So inside our uh, uh, running class, we have this class which is extending the frame. So we have to place all these grids onto the frame. So because of which we are making you, we are creating a class which will extend the JFrame. Now inside the constructor of that class, we are uh, uh, first setting up these um, uh, window size. So we are setting the size of the window and uh, setting the default close operation of that window to exit on close. So we, when we press the cross button of the window, it will close the that particular window. Now we have we are uh, we have to align some layout uh, since we have to align these labels in a grid layout form, we have to set the layout of the frame to grid layout. So first we are creating an object of grid layout which will take any number of rows but only three columns. So zero indicates that that grid can take up any number of rows but it, uh, if we specify any uh, the specify the number of columns that many columns will be created. So in our form, in our uh, table, uh, in our program, it is said to take any number of rows. There is no limit for the number of rows which is defined and it can take up only up to three columns. So then we are setting the frame layout to that particular grid. So we have set the frame layout to grid layout to take any number of rows but only three columns. Now we have to read from the file. So we are specifying the file path as uh, the input to the file input stream class object. So we create an object which will be uh, opening the data which is specified in this look in this particular location. So this is the location wherein I have stored this employee text. So that is op uh, opened and that uh, it, it will start reading from that data. It has to start reading from the data. Now we have created this uh, uh, file input stream object. So we are making use of the scanner class to read the contents of that file. So to re so that uh, we are passing that object as an input to the scanner class. So the scanner scanner will start reading the elements which is stored in this employee dot text. Now we are using two array uh, two uh, sorry one array named as array list and the string named as array to work out with our logic. So what we does what we do here is that we have to read each file sorry each line 
separate each of these elements uh, based on the comma and they will be stored into this array list uh, as a table uh, into the, each of these elements will be stored into the array list and from that array list we will extract it and place it on our frame on as a label so this is what our logic is so we have to uh, as long as there are elements in that file we have to keep reading it so first we read the first line of the uh, we first read the first line of that file into A. So, A will initially contain EMP name, EMP ID and EMP phone number. So, this header will be uh, stored into A initially in the first iteration. Now, this A has, this A uh, array, sorry, this A string contains this whole thing. So, this whole thing is stored into A. Now, we have to split these uh, elements and store it into array list. So, we are splitting that uh, array, we are splitting the array based on comma and each of those elements will be stored into array list. So, into array list array, we will get what this is our array list array. So, into this first it will split, uh, it will split uh, up whenever it finds comma. So, first it will store EMP name, then it will store EMP ID and it will store EMP phone number. So, this is what are the contents in the first iteration into stored into this array list. Now, what we do? We have to extract each of these elements and we place it onto our grid. So, for that, we may uh, we are uh, iterating over the array list. So, we are making use of a string i which to iterate over this array list using the for each loop. So, as well also uh, this iteration will run until there are contents in this array list. So, um, first what, what it does is that uh, I um, into I, I will contain first EMP name, EMP name will be stored into I. So, that I is created as a label. So, now we are create, I has this value EMP name. Now, this I value, using that I value, we are creating a label, uh, la creating a label and that label is added onto the frame. So, first it says, it is like we are creating this, uh, with this EMP name, we are creating a label. So, that label will be created and that we are adding onto the frame. So, this this uh, initial one will be placed at the 0, 0 position of the grid layout. So, uh, if we say we have this, we have, let's say we have the grid layer like this. So, in this, we it will be storing EMP name initially. Then, in the second iteration, it will come here, it will take up EMP ID into I, then again it will create the next, uh, it will create the next, uh, uh, what do you say? So, one label is created and it is stored here. Now, the second label has to be created using EMP ID. So, EMP ID is uh, taken into I, I will contain EMP ID. So, this EM, using this EMP ID, we are creating a label, uh, label, J label and that label is added onto the frame. So, EMP ID will come here. Next, in the next iteration, we have EMP phone number stored into, uh, EMP phone number stored into I, I has EMP phone number the, as the title. Now, uh, the, again, we are creating a label with EMP phone number. So, the next, uh, next uh, label will be played and added, next label will be created and that is added onto the frame. So, uh, these three, these three elements, whichever was obtained from this first line, was split based on the comma. So each of them will be taken as a token, and each of these token are converted into labels and stored onto the frame. So they are since the frame is of grid layout format, it will be placed in as a grid uh, in three columns. Now, so first iteration, first iteration is over. Now again, after at this point, it will again check whether that SE is having, that whatever SE is pointing to is having any other elements. So, it's in, again, it has a next line. So, it will point, so now uh, A will point to, now A will point to the next line. So, A will contain, A, the string A will contain A, comma, 1, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, A is storing this. So, um, to A, we are, we are reading uh, the next line. So, the string A will contain this uh, whole uh, line. Again, split it based on comma. So, each of these tokens will be stored into this array list. 
So initially aerialist will uh, uh, into the aerialist it will store a one and one two three four which is the first second line of the which is the second line of the uh, uh, file. Now again we go for the for each loop to iterate over this array list and then extract each of these elements and store it into grid layout. So initially I will have a sorry a, a the string uh, this i will have i is have i is having a this value a that value is created as a label. So we are creating a label with the value a. And that is added onto the grid layout. So A will come in the grid. Next, in the second iteration of the for each loop, I will have one. So I will take one, the value one, the label with uh, one is created and that is added onto the grid layout. So one will come here. Next, the iterate in the next iteration, I will uh, I will contain take one, two, three, four. So I will contain one, two, three, four. So a label with 1, 2, 3, 4 is created and that is added onto the grid layout. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 will be stored over here. Now, that uh, I uh, now there are no more contents in the array list. So, it will again check whether the scanner is having the next line. So, it will come to B. So, uh, uh, a, the string A will contain B, 2, 2, 3, 4. So, again it will, uh, so the line, it will split that, um, the, uh, uh, this uh, string B will be split based on comma and each of these tokens will be stored into array list. It will be stored into this array list. So A will be stored here. Sorry, uh, B will be stored here. 2 will come here and this will be 2, 3, 4. So now uh, again we have to start with the iteration of the for each loop. So I will have B initially. I is taking B. So uh, we create a label with B and add it onto the um, for uh, add it onto the uh, grid layout. So we get B here. Now I will take uh, in the second iteration. I will take two. This value two will be taken. So I will be two. And um, once uh, two is coming into I, this for each loop will create a label with two and that is added onto the grid layout. So two comes here. Then we have the Two, three, four number, uh, four number. So that four number will be, uh, four number will be uh, uh, stored into i. I will have this two, three, four. So we create a label with two, three, four, and that label is added onto the grid layer. So we get two, three, four here. Similarly, uh, now this iteration is over. So this for each loop has come to an end. So it will go to the while loop. So this while loop it will take for the next iteration. It will take the Third line C, <coughs> the th third line C will be taken. So A, the string A will contain C. So in the next iteration of while loop, A will take this th fourth line. So C, three, three, four, five. Uh, the elements uh, of these uh, string is again split according to uh, separated by comma is taken and it is split uh, based on it and stored into array list. So array list will contain C. 3, 3, 4, 5. Now, uh, I will, st uh, the for each loop will start iterate iterating over this array list. So, each value of, each of these values will be taken into i. A label will be created and it will be stored into, uh, it will be stored into the grid layout. So, uh, initially I will take C. The label with C is created and it is added onto the grid layout. So, C comes here. Then in the next iteration, I will take 3. So label with 3 will be created, a label with a value 3 will be created and it is added onto the grid layout. So 3 comes here. Next, the element will be 3, 4, 5. So I will take 3, 4, 5 and then it is uh, created and it is uh, added onto the grid layout. So 3, 4, 5 comes here. Now this uh, for each loop iteration is over. Again, it will check for the while loop. So while uh, <coughs> again, while loop will take, uh, there are contents in the file. So it will take D. 4 and 3, 4, 5. So, uh, these are the uh, elements which is stored into A. Again, it is split based on comma. So, 
A will, uh, sorry, D will come here. In, uh, in initially, initially, D will come here. Four will be here, and three, four, five, four number will be here. So this, uh, these are the contents of the array list. Now the for each loop will start iterating over the array list. So initially, I will take D. So the label with D will be created, and it is added onto the um, added onto the uh, uh, grid layout. So we get D here. Then I uh, I will be four. So a uh, element. Uh, with element four will be created as a label. That four label is added onto the grid layout. So four comes here, and then next element is three four five. So uh, three four five uh, I will contain three four five. So I is clearly a label with value three four five is created and it is added onto the grid layout. So we get three four five here. Now uh, there are no more contents. So again, uh, the while loop will check for the next line. So there are no, uh, no more lines in the file. So that will stop. Now in case anything, if it throws any exception, that will be caught over here, and that will be displayed whatever is the error message. So uh, this is how we convert the uh, convert a file in file in uh, in, uh, in store the contents of the file. From the uh, from the file into a grid layer. So basically, we are reading the contents of the file into an array, and from that array, we are uh, copying it into the grid. So this is about that uh, storing of, of contents of file into grid layout. In the next program, so the next program is to store the contents of the file into a hash table. So and from the hash table, we have to search the elements related to it. So for that. Uh, so this is the program to write. Uh, this is the question to write a Java program that loads names and phone numbers from a text file where the data is organized as one line per record, and each file in the recorded record are separated by tab. It takes the name or phone number as input and prints the corresponding other value from the hash table. So here. We have one file. We have a file wherein the phone numbers are phone numbers and the corresponding person is stored in the file, which is separated by a tab. Now, from this file, we have to store the contents into a hash table, and from that hash table, we have to retrieve the phone numbers or the uh, the phone number or the uh, like we will be giving a phone number, we have to retrieve the corresponding person's name, or if we give the person's name, we have to get the phone number. So these are the this is the uh, question here. So our class is um, the phone dictionary, and in, uh, we are implementing this inside the main itself. So for, uh, we have this file. So this file has to be read, and for that we are passing that uh, we are passing the we are passing the path to the input stream and uh, we, are uh, we are using the scanner class to read the contents of the file. Now, since we have to read the contents of the file and store it into a hash table, we have to import that hash table and we are creating an object of this hash table. So here, uh, this hash table is uh, making use of generics wherein uh, the elements are stored as strings. So the hash table is, some, is something uh, which stores the element as a key value pair. So we have some key value pair, a hash table like this. So here we have the key and it will have a value. So these key val keys, the elements stored in the keys should be always unique. You cannot have duplicate values stored in a key. Now, if you give one key, you can get the value of that particular key. So if let's say we are having name A and one, two, three is related to A. So this A, should be unique in this column and that means it cannot repeat it cannot have duplicate a and that value uh, the value for this particular key is one two three so uh, we can have uh, we can we cannot have duplicate values in the key part but we can have duplicate values in the value part so uh, for that uh, so to maintain this hash table we are creating this hash table which takes key and value as strings so here key and value are taken as strings then same as before we are making use of an array list a, uh, a string array and a string named a which will extract the contents of the file and then place it onto hash table similarly as before we can, we are reading the hash um, the contents of the file using the scanner class we are reading the contents of the files using the scanner class. 
So uh, the first line is read into A. So A will have, A will take 1, 2, 3 and A. Then we store these contents, this line into array list to have. So this array list will have 1, 2, 3 and A. Now this this is at index 1 and this is at, in, sorry, this uh, the first element is at index 0, zero and the second element is at index 1. So this is our key part and this is our value part. So we have to store the key part in the key part into key these values has to be stored into the key and value part of the array. So to store elements into the hash table we make use of the put method. So this put method to the put the parameters passed to the put method are key. The first value is key and the second value is the value. So these are the two parameters passed to the put method of hash table. So in our case the zeroth element of the array is our key and the first element is our uh, value. So that particular values has to be passed into the hash table. So we pass the um, we pass the array list of uh, array list zero into uh, array list zero as key and array list one as value. So uh, we are storing these contents of uh, contents of this is our array list array. So this contents of the contents of this array list is stored into a hash table. So we have the hash table as uh, so uh, we have array list 0 as 1, 2, 3. This is 1, 2, 3 and this is A. So it will store 1, 2, 3 and A. So uh, it will uh, hash, hash table dot put will store the array uh, uh, that contents of the array uh, into the hash table as yes, a key value pair. <coughs> and then we are displaying that content. So we get 1, 2, 3 colon A in the output. Now in the second iteration, it will take the um, it will take the uh, second row of the table of the file. So it will have two, three, four, and student's name as B two, three, four, and B. So uh, the value of sorry now uh, sorry uh, initially A will so A will take up the value one two, two three four stab B. So then it will the the uh, elements of A are split according uh, uh, depending on the tab and stored it into array list. So we get 234 and we stored it onto the array list array. Now the, uh, the zeroth element is placed as key. So we place array list 0 that is 234 as key and B as value. So 234 B will be stored will, will be placed onto the hash table. So the put method will place 234 B pair into the hash table as the key value pair and it will be displayed. So we get 234 colon B. Now uh, A will next in say, next iteration A will take the third line. So A will have the string A will have 345 C. So uh, it is again split uh, based on tab. So these two tokens are stored into the array list as 345 C and uh, th then these contents are stored into are placed onto the uh, are placed on uh, onto the hash table. So this will come as 345. The zeroth element will be 345 and that is placed as key and the first element is one. So that uh, sorry C and that is play uh, the first ele uh, element of the uh, the element at a uh, first location is stored as uh, C which is stored as uh, value. So it will place 345C as a key value pair onto the hash table. So it will get 345C and it will be displaying that 345C will be displayed into the output. In the next iteration, it will take the fourth line. So we have the con uh, A will have 456D. So uh, these are split uh, based on tab. It is split based on tab and 456 D will be D will be placed onto the array list. So uh, next it will place these elements, the zeroth and first element onto the hash table by using the put method. So it will place four five it will put the 456 D pair onto the hash table. So it will place 456 D pair onto the hash table. 
next uh, it will next in the next iteration sorry it will and again it will also display for display 456 colon d in the next iteration it will take 789 d pair 789 and d as into the string it is split based on tab and stored it onto the array list so into array list it will contain 789 and d so uh, it will uh, this array list will contain 789d so that is stored onto the now each of these values are taken from the hash table and put onto the hash uh, sorry each of these elements are taken from the array list and placed onto the uh, and placed onto the hash table so now this hash table content the key value pair will be 789 and d so this pair will be placed onto the hash table 789 so till now, uh, by this time, all the contents of the files are copied onto the hash table. Now what we have to do? Now we will either in uh, there are two things we have to search by mobile, we have to search by mobile, or we have to search by name. So if we uh, if we, we are if we are searching by mobile, we give one of these mobile numbers. So if we give this mobile number, it has to display the corresponding name. So if we give one two three, it has to dis it will display the name of the student as A. Now, if we are searching by name, we give the name, then it will store, uh, it will uh, re uh, return the uh, corresponding phone number. So, in, in our case, let's say D is having, the student D is having two phone numbers. So, if we give the value D as name, then it should display both 456 and 789. So, this is what will be uh, we will be doing here. So, we are displaying our menu uh, with the uh, in these in these lines we are displaying our menu then we are reading the uh, based on the option so if if we are giving the option as one then we have to search using the uh, using mobile uh, using mobile if we are giving option two we, we have to search using our uh, name and if it is three then we have to exit the it will be exiting the menu option uh, program so uh, we are we are reading this um, uh, we are creating a scanner object to read the read that uh, uh, read this uh, option. So and we will continue as long as we give the option as three. So when we plus three, it will exit from the uh, loop. So we are reading the option into uh, the variable opt. So based on opt's value. Uh, Either it will be taken uh, using the phone number or it will be searching using the student's name. So in, in the first case, we are reading, we are, it is to uh, take the phone number and uh, display the mobile. So uh, what was our table? We had the table like this, which had 1, 2, 3, A, then 2, 3, 4, This was our hash table. So in this hash table, <coughs> so we have the content like this in the hash table. So uh, we have uh, now we are reading a phone number. So we are reading a phone number into mobile. So mo let's say we are giving the value. Let's say we are giving the value three four five three four five. So mobile will take up the value three four five. So uh, into mobile the value will be three four five. Now. Uh, this hash table, there are a lot of methods which can be used to manipulate the hash table so and uh, traverse through the hash table. So the contain scheme method, contain scheme method will check whether the parameter passed to it, the key parameter passed to it is present in the hash table or not. So we are passing this mobile to the hash table. So first of all, it will check whether this hash table contains this given key. So if it contains this given key three, so it it will in, in, get into this plan. So in our case, the three uh, uh, value three four five is present inside the hash table. So this will be true. So hash table contains key three four five means this will be true. This statement will be true. So it will come inside this if block and this statement will be executed. So it now this get method will retrieve the value part of the Key, key which is passed to it. So the get value, the get method is taking the key uh, key as mobile. So key value as mobile. So it will take three four five. So it will uh, it will uh, go through. I mean, it will traverse through all these elements and it will find that three four five is 
three, four, five value is C. So it will display C there. So we will get name is the output will be name is C. So this is how we uh, get the phone number. Now let's say if we give uh, the uh, let's say we are giving eight eight eight. Let the phone number be eight eight eight. So into the mobile we it will read mobile will be eight eight eight. So it will check whether the hash table contains uh, phone uh, mobile number eight eight eight. So it will check in this hash table. This hash table will be checked. It will find that the phone number given is not present. So it will display this output part. So if in case if our input for input triple eight, the output will be not found since the uh, will be not found since that element is not present in the hash table. So we make use of the uh, the get method to retrieve the key. Uh, the sorry, the value part of the key and the contains key is used to check whether the uh, that okay, past key value key. The past key is present in that hash table or not. Next, we have. Uh, uh, <coughs> we have. Uh, next, uh, uh, we will be giving the name. Using that name, it has to. Uh, using that name, it has to uh, retrieve the that particular value, that particular phone number. So let's say we are having this table again. We have this table. So this is our table. So if we give value C, then it has to retrieve the. Uh, it has to return three four five. Or if we give value D, it has to retrieve these two four numbers. So uh, it is asking the program is asking to uh, enter the name. So that name, uh, let's say we are taking D. So the name D will come into the value uh, the. Um, the name, uh, the names uh, D will come into the variable name. Now we are uh, this contains value method will check whether it can this hash table is containing the given uh, value. So it will check whether the hash table contains a value D. So it it will check all this value part. Will check this whole value part and finds out whether this D is present in the table or not. So since it is present, it will come inside this. If block. So now this um, now into this uh, uh, we are uh, we are iterating over this hash table using the map entry interface, and that and you uh, so into this e into this e string we are taking up the uh, taking up each of these uh, key value pair. So it uh, this uh, entry set method will retrieve will return the key value pair of each particular at each particular case so it is iterating over this uh, over this hash table that uh, this uh, uh, for each loop is used to iterate over this hash table and the entry set method will return the key value pair for each iteration so e uh, at, and the first iteration e will take 1 2 3 and a pair so this pair will be stored into e now our value was stored into D, so we have to compare that value with the value part of this uh, E. So we have to check whether name and uh, E's value part are same. This E's value part and this name are the same. So first we for we are checking whether name, the variable which we have read our value, uh, our name, uh, is equal to the value part of the E uh, the uh, um, object E. So to get the value part of E, we make use of the method get value. So E dot get value will return the value part of the object E. So in this first case, the value uh, E contains the uh, uh, E contains the one um, the uh, um, the pair one uh, key value pair as one two three and a. So the one two three is the key part of e, and this a is the value part of e. So we are retrieving the uh, value part of e using the get value method. That means we are checking whether d and equals of d equals a. So they are not the same. 
so they are not the same it will again go for the uh, the for each loop will be iterated to the next line now e will take the object e, e will contain 2 3 4b and our name uh, our value variable was d our variable was d and now e will contain this pair so what it check now e, it will check whether d and equals e, d dot it equals b they are not they are not the same so again it will iterate over the for loop it will come to this third line it will come to the third line so it will contain 3 4 5 c again it will check whether d and c are same d and c are not same so again it will iterate over the next loop so it will display now e will have 4 5 6 d so d and e is is a uh, value d are the same so d our name d and the e is uh, e is value part are the same so it will display the mobile number is e is get key so e is get key means it will take up the 4 5 6 so in the output we will get mobile is uh 4 5 6 so get key it will retrieve the uh, key part of this key value pair of the entry set so uh, we get 4 5 6 in as our output now there is still more contents in the for each loop so in that uh, hash lit hash table so this for each loop will iterate over the next line so it will take 7 8 9 and d again it will uh, this if loop if block will check whether the name passed to it and the value part of that object e are the same they both are the same so it will display that mobile is 7 8 9 so since d is having two uh, d is having two phone numbers both the phone numbers are retrieved and displayed onto the uh, displayed onto the uh, output so in case we give um, the name which is not present let's say we are giving the name as e so this name instead of d we have passed e so what will um, the program do it will check this hash table whether e is present inside this part inside the value part since it doesn't contain the value named e it will come here and execute this else block so it will display not found so the output will be not found in case if the uh, the value given to it is not present in the array so uh, this is about um, now if we give the option as 3 if we give the option as 3 then it will display the menu successfully exited so we get um, and if there are any <coughs> if we choose any option other than 1 and 3 it, it will prompt to op choose the option which uh, any other value if we give then it will ask us to choose between 1 and 3 so if any exception has been thrown that exception will be caught inside caught by this <laughs> catch block and whatever is it a particular error the error message will be displayed so this is our output uh, so here we had given the input um, phone number as 1 2 3 and our table contained uh, and the name was a and in the second case we displayed d and it both the phone numbers are displayed so this is about how to store contents of hash of a file into a hash table so we have a file <coughs> we have one file that file uh, uh, that file uh, is being stored into the hash table using uh, so from the file we store the contents into a hash table and from the hash uh, sorry from the file we store the contents in contents into an array and from that array we are storing the contents into the hash table and using the hash table we are searching the uh, we are searching the contents in the hash table based on the key or the value pair which is value which is passed to it so uh, that is all for today's video in preparing these slides i have used the textbook complete reference by herbert chill the 9th edition and also i have made use of these websites uh, the tutorial website given by oracle the java t point and the uh, and samantha sir's iit professor samantha sir's uh, website
Thank you for watching my video. That is all for today. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.